hi friends hello today i teach the part 3 of brain and cranial nerves the cerebellum here be the learning objectives are first we describe the structure and the functions of the cerebellum and then identify and compare the relationship between the cerebellum and the brain stem the cerebellum is or also known as little brain is the second largest part of the brain and it develops from the metencephalon main objectives are first describe structure and the functions of cerebellum second one is identify and compare the relationship between the cerebellum and the brain stem and also we study the nucleus of the cerebellum the position of cerebellum it belongs to metencephalon it is the second largest part of brain meaning little brain because the human cerebellum does not initiate movement but contributes to coordination precision and accurate timing it receives input from sensory systems of spinal cord and from other parts of the brain the cerebellum the cerebellum occupies in posterior cranial cavity and bounded superiorly by occipital lobes of cerebral hemispheres separated by dura mater projection tendorium cerebelli anteriorly pons and medulla oblongata inferiorly by fourth ventricle here we can show this is the cerebellum we can pons here pons and early pons and medulla oblongata here superiorly by the occipital lobe of cerebral hemispheres here is the occipital lobes of cerebral hemisphere and inferiorly by fourth ventricle here the bodies and surfaces of cerebellum it has two borders and two surfaces the anterior and posterior border and superior and inferior surfaces next one we has to learn a term valecula of cerebellum it is the first we can show what is valecula of cerebellum this is valecula of cerebellum valecula of cerebellum valecula of cerebellum is a broad exca excavation in anterior border and inferior surface where the medulla oblongata and pons enter the cerebellum here here be the anterior portion posterior po posterior portion here we locate the midbrain here be the pons we can show here the superior surface inferior surface the anterior border anterior border anterior border and posterior border here here is the broad excavation known as valecula of cerebellum it is this located in anterior border and inferior surface the parts of cerebellum it comprises two hemispheres and vermis of cerebellum first one is the hemisphere of cerebellum 
It is a deep horizontal fissure runs along the anterior border of each hemisphere. S hemispheres of cerebellum separates the larger lateral parts. Fissure delimits superior and inferior parts of hemispheres. Second one is vermis of cerebellum. It is an unpaired narrow portion situated between the hemispheres. Here we can show the cerebellar hemisphere and this is vermis. We can see here the horizontal fissure, deep horizontal fissure. It is separates the large lateral parts of cerebral hemisphere here. Here is the horizontal fissure. Here be the primary fissure. Next we can study the lobes of cerebellum. It has three lobes. First one is floculo nodular lobe. Floculo means wool or like tuft floculo. This is floculo nodular lobe. Here we can see floculo nodular lobe. This is floculus. It, ha it has two floculus or floculi. It has floculi and nodulus. Here be the nodulus. Floculo nodular lobe resides in inferior resides in inferior surface of cerebellum, known as archicerebellum or old, on, also known as oldest part. It consists of paired floculus and unpaired nodule related to vermis. First one is pedangle of floculus. We can see here this is the pedangle of floculus. Pedangle of floculus is a thin plate of white matter between floculus and nodule. The pedangle forms a nodule. Next one is inferior medullary velum. It is between the pedangle, belongs to roof of fourth ventricle and the function is it is associated with vestibular nuclei involved in body equilibrium control. Second one is anterior lobe. It is anterior to primary fissure known as paleocerebellum, ancient part of cerebellum. Floculo nodul floculo nodular lobe is known as oldest part of cerebellum. It is paleocerebellum. That is ancient part of cerebellum. Here be the primary fissure and anterior to primary fissure located the anterior lobe of cerebellum. It contains the vermis part and also hemisphere part. Anterior lobe connected to spinal cord through anterior and posterior uh, spinocerebellar tract and connected to nucleus of posterior funiculus by external arcuate fibers. The functions are controls muscle tone, coordinates the movement related to overcome the weight of weight and inertia, static and dynamic body equilibrium. We can see here the cerebellum, the thalamus, here thalamus and we can see here anterior spinocerebellar tract and posterior, cerebe posterior spinocerebellar tract. Next we study the posterior lobe of cerebellum. It comprises smaller portions of vermis and most parts of hemispheres. It is posterior to primary fissure. Here we can see 
the posterior lobe posterior lobe yes posterior lobe this green portions are totally full of posterior lobe and it consists mostly of hemispheres it is posterior to primary fissure also remember it is posterior to primary fissure it is a neo it is known as neo cerebellum or newest part of cerebellum it is associated with the cerebral cortex by corticopondocerebellar tracts the functions are it controls both voluntary and automated movements comparing the signals from cerebral cortex with the peripheral signals the internal features of cerebellum are folia of cerebellum covered with the gray matter constitute cerebellar cortex the folia means leaf folia of cerebellum covered with the gray matter and constitute cerebellar cortex then cerebellar nuclei is situated in deep white matter then the arbor vitae is uh, uh, we can see in sagittal section it is a specific tree like arrangement of white and gray matter the nuclei of cerebellum it has four nuclei dendrite nucleus emboliform nucleus globus nucleus first cgl nucleus we make a code here take the first letter daily events go fastly emboliform nucleus is situated medially globus nucleus situated medially from the emboliform nucleus first cgl nucleus in vermis along in the midline we can see dendrite nucleus the largest nuclei in cerebellum then emboliform nucleus globus nucleus first cgl nucleus it is the posterior lobe and here be the anterior lobe we can see arbor vitae here it's a specific tree like arrangement of white and gray matter Le first we learn about den uh, dendrite nucleus it is the largest nucleus it is located within hemispheres related to the neo cerebellum or posterior lobe appears as wavy thin plate of gray matter with a convex area directed posterior laterally the hilum of dendrite nucleus is situated in the medial area it passes the dendrite rubel fibers that run through the superior cerebellar peduncles and reach the red nucleus in thalamus it is the hilum of dendrite nucleus next we learn about cerebellar peduncles first inferior cerebellar peduncle middle cerebellar peduncle and superior cerebellar peduncle uh the function of cerebellar peduncles are uh, the cerebellum connects to other brain parts by cerebellar peduncles and it is a white matter bundles the features of cere inferior cerebellar peduncles are uh, posterior spinal cerebellar tract presence of posterior spinal cerebellar tract or fleshy tract Uh, it connects to spinal cord to cerebellar cortex the uh, specifically portion of vermis related to anterior lobe second one is olivo cerebellar tract inferior olivary nucleus to dendrite nucleus external arcuate fibers fibers connects cuneate and gracile nuclei to connects cuneate and gracile nucleus to cortex of vermis in a uh, specifically the anterior lobe next one is vestibulo cerebellar fibers 
it can the fibers connects vestibular nuclei to fascial nuclei uh, and the uh, and it is located function is it associate the cerebellum with the function is uh, it associate the cerebellum with middle oblongata here we can see cortico pontin fibers inferior cerebellar pedangle proprioceptive information from spinocerebellar tract climbing the fibers from inferior olive here be the olivocerebellar tract and here is the inferior cerebellar pedangle here is inferior olivary complex the middle cerebellar pedangles it associate the cerebellum with pons the fibers are pondo cerebellar fibers middle cerebellar pedangle it associates cerebellum with the pons it has two fibers pondo cerebellar fibers and cortico pontine fibers the pondo cerebellar fibers it connects pontine nuclei to cortex of posterior lobe cortico pontine fibers it connects pontine nuclei to cerebral cortex these two pathways associate cerebral cortex with cerebra, uh, cerebellar cortex specifically neo cerebellum we can see here middle cerebellar pedangle here be the inferior cerebellar pedangle and the nerve sir posterior spinal cerebellar tract for inferior cerebellar pedangle and olive here is infer inferior cerebellar pedangle uh, it, this is the dorsal view and here be the lateral view and olivo cerebellar tract olivo cerebellar tract the specific uh, features of superior cerebellar pedangles are it associates cerebellum with midbrain and thalamus first dentato rubel fibers that uh, it connects the dendrite nucleus to red nucleus constitute primary efferent pathway that transmit impulses from cerebellum some fibers from dendrite nucleus to thalamus rend to cerebral cortex transmit impulse from transmit impulses from cerebellum to cerebral cortex third one is anterior spinal cerebellar tract or known as covers tract it connects spinal cord connect spinal cord uh, to passes through the middle lobe passes through middle lobe oblongata and pons decussates within superior medullary velum and enters the chondro chondrolateral superior cerebellar cerebellar pedangle to reach cortex of ver, uh, vermis specifically the anterior lobe it is a superior medullary velum it expands between superior uh, superior cerebellar pedangles expands between superior cerebellar pedangles passes thin roots of trochlear nerve or fourth cranial nerve here be the co cortico pontine fibers you can see the pons here pons pontine mossy fibers here is the middle cerebellar pedangle middle cerebellar pedangle and fascial nuclei to vestibular nuclei fiber interposed nuclei to thalamus and red nuclei and the fibers goes from dendrite nuclei to thalamus and uh, red nucleus you can see superior cerebellar pedangle cerebellum here proprioceptive 
information from spinocerebellar tract mostly fibers in inferior uh, cerebellar peduncle and fibers from climbing the fibers from inferior olive here we can see a dorsal view thalamus uh, superior cerebellar peduncle here here is the commissure of cerebellum uncinated fasciculus of cerebellum here fascial nucleus fascial nucleus dentated interposed nuclei fasciospinal tract inferior olivary complex cuneate nucleus posterior spinocerebellar tract anterior spinocerebellar tract olivo cerebellar tract inferior cerebellar peduncle here and middle cerebellar peduncle here here be the perkinjes cells and we can we can see the decussation of superior cerebellar peduncles and here is the red nucleus this is the lateral view thalamus middle cerebellar peduncle this is the trigeminal nerve juxta reciform body and reciform body collectively known as inferior cerebellar peduncles posterior cere spinal uh, cerebellar tract pass uh, pass in uh, inferior cerebellar peduncle and here spin uh, spinal cerebellar tract here okay friends uh if you uh, uh make this uh, video more i think this video uh, helpful to you uh, if uh, any suggestion uh, please comment on comment box and subscribe my video for update uh, for updated videos press on uh, bell icon and like my video and share thank you friends